The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. Dear everyone, Jim Cramer tweeted yesterday, and we have his tweet here. It was April Fool's Day, as you all know. Coming in at the most overbought, he claims, we've been doing better as sellers than buyers for a long. We have inverse Cramer, as you all know, and the reverse usually happens whenever Jim Cramer says something. We thought the market and crypto's prices would soar due to Jim Cramer's gloomy opinion on the markets, but alas, sirs, Cramer was correctly on this occasion. Since it was April Fool's Day, which typically signifies the inverse, it makes perfect sense. This means that Jim Cramer's opposite is about to arrive. Within the last hour, Justin has pulled $143 billion out of the cryptocurrency market. This is further evidence of market manipulation, and many people have been liquidated. Rather than dealing with options, leverage, and the like, you would be better off just holding. There was a mini-flash crash in the price of Bitcoin, which occurred when its value dropped from $70,000 to $66,000. This has happened before whenever the price of Bitcoin, or the cryptocurrency market drops. Only a few hours. It should come as no surprise that we have the 666 numbers, and that this is occurring on the same day. At the beginning of every single month, 1 billion XRP is released, just like the ripple dump that happens on Investor's Day, which is XRP released from the escrow. We released 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 XRP yesterday, April 1st, currently. 500 million XRP have been transferred out of escrow, and in March, Ripple sold 350 million XRP worth $212 million. However, even with these large sales, the price of Ripple is still up 5%. I think that's all fantastic. With a circulating supply of 54.9 billion BTC, and Tether's strategy of buying Bitcoin at a discount when its price rises, the latter is effectively pumping up the former through the production of false liquidity and its injection into the markets. Yesterday, Tether purchased $626 million worth of Bitcoin, increasing their current holdings to $5.2 billion. As it stands, Bitcoin is still falling, and we can see trade around 65,700. What if Tether goes down and they are fined and forced to relinquish unlawful gains? With Solana at 180x RP trading at 589, the entire cryptocurrency market is falling. Looking at the daily time frame, we can see that the sell signal was active yesterday, April 1st. Ever since then, the price of XRP has been falling from 61 cents to 58 cents. Just for reference, BlackRock Fidelity now holds 396,715 Bitcoin, which is worth more than 27 points. Even though spot Bitcoin ETFs have only been available for a few months, $27 billion is a lot of money and Bitcoin. What do you think will happen in the next few months? I'm betting that these guys will buy up most of the supply, and we still have a huge 589 delta to contend with. A 22022 image of BlackRock is in our possession. Spot Bitcoin ETFs purchased 66,000 BTC in March, while miners only managed 28,513 BTC in production. With the upcoming Bitcoin event, the supply of new Bitcoin will be considerably lower, halved. Thus, there is a glaring disparity here, more Bitcoin are being purchased than thought, and a supply shock is on the way for Bitcoin. We can see new tweets from David Schwartz every half day starting from April 1st. We also have fast cash $50 available. We also have $20 on hand, and the minimum amount asked is not a multiple of 20. Is it possible to imagine XRP reaching $20 or $50? A tweet from David Schwartz and confirmation from XRP Crypto, Wolf both point to $50 XRP. He asks whether anyone knows the backstory of the shirts, among them, Satoshi Nakamoto, the man behind Bitcoin, who may or may not be David Schwartz. This shirt, 
as we can see on Tokyo.com, is worth $360 and is from this store. Shirts that are quite pricey. Next, we have David Schwartz and Demetrius Cautionary Hand Class Tweet. That works out to the formation of American Clubs, which takes place on April 8th, roughly six days after this film was recorded. And 2017 was the year of the last eclipse. We witnessed XRP's price skyrocket. Given that we recently experienced a total solar eclipse, which occurs between the hours of 2 and 9 on the lunar calendar, will we witness a repeat performance? We have February 29th, February 30th, and February 31st in this tweet from David Schwartz about when I should turn the switch. Because his tweet also points to February 2009, it's possible that the switch will be flipped on February 9th. Also, the lunar calendar shows 2 to 9 to 29 on April 8th at about 4.08, and Fibonacci levels can reach 1%. Prefer to utilize the range of $20 to $50, which also happens to be within the Fibonacci 1.618 range, the golden ratio, thus it's quite probable that XRP will go from $20 to $50. While we're on this bull run, here's a nice fact about the eclipse. Bluetooth was introduced on 5,799 Yates. It took 4 months and 311 days, with one day having the 311 number, and the P also being declared on 311. With the 42 clubs gearing up for March 11th, we're anticipating a major event, and the eclipse being a significant date for the 1%, a virtual date, will we witness something happening to XRP? The 1% are also highly related to XRP. Also, the charts show that we'll be moving much higher than we were in 2017, when the cryptocurrency market was at its peak. This parabolic move has been occurring for all coins since the price broke above the line and the line went green. Currently, we are seeing the same thing happen with the line turning green and the price breaching above the line. If you sell now, I think it's incredibly foolish because we're going to have a meteoric rise in 2024. Well, that concludes our video. Like and subscribe as usual and feel free to leave a comment with your opinions. Muchas gracias, depart.